Alrighty, welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom. This episode, we are going to explore Yonoboko HQ to get to the bottom of what is causing all of the Gorons to, uh, to be stoned all the time. A note on the table to our Hylian workers. When entering a sizzling cave, use elixirs. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I already have the armor, so I'm chilling. Hey, Yonoboko. Oh, I don't believe we've met before. If you're a new worker, tell me. That's right, I'm new. I have no idea how badly we're needed. <laughs> They're obsessed with the robble, rock, 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 the marbled rock roast. I think President Yobo is in the city inspecting the rock roast. President Yonobo? He's the entrepreneurial genius who founded Yonoboko. Yonoboko became the world's leading name in mineral mining. Yo, so he made a business? We're so proud of Yonobo. He actually did pretty well. He's been off since the rocker showed up. Well, that just means that I have to, uh... I have to go find him. They said that he was in the city? Read Yonobo's diary? After the eruption of Death Mountain stopped, the lava stopped flowing over Elden. Then it got colder. It made climates real low. At this rate, Gordon will fall apart. Oh, no. Now that it's colder there's only one thing to do dig 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 and find more ore i guess this is how he started his business and the business is booming we're calling it yonoboko yeah we're so proud of him he did so good for himself he made a business so we have to go back to uh back to goron city because he said that Nobo is down there with the marbled rock roast. If I remember correctly, I think last episode we found out that there's a pile of rock roast in the middle of Goron City. So it's possible that we walked right past Nobo without even seeing him. Let's see. Yo, this game is beautiful. I'll never get over how good this game looks. So this is the rock roast. I wonder if it's hot to the touch. No, I can stand on it. Tastier and diamonds. Ain't nothing better. Yo, we found the boss. This is Boss Bluto. Rain, not you too. Yeah, so everybody is here eating the rock roast, getting stoned. It looks like they eat so much that they just stop, uh, they stop working. And that seems to be the problem with Goron City. Oh, shit. You all talking about marbled rock roast, are ya? It's Yonobo. Yonobo co-president. Bleh. Bleh. There's nothing to worry about, in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! Huh? What could you want? Oh god, it's Yonobo being an asshole. Why is he such a dick now? Well, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny, barely even noticed ya. Yo, fuck you, bitch. I saved the world. Yeah, Vin, what's the big idea talking to our esteemed guests like this? Bluto, or should I say boss? <laughs> Damn, this guy is such a dickhead. Hey. President Yonobo, why are you such a dick? <laughs> You're not needed, Bluto? What the fuck? So, Link, what's your business with Goron City? Princess Zelda? You're wondering about anything strange going on. It's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers. Eh. The lady with hair like that, she's the same that President Yonobo talks to about marbled rock roast. Pipe down, you two! You, you keep better keep your trap shut if you don't know what's good for you. Damn. So he has seen Zelda, and he understands that Zelda is helping him with the rock roast. And so he's like, well, I gotta keep, gotta, gotta keep it all secret. That's pretty fucked up. And they're going back to Yonoboko. 
Yo, Bluto, what is going on with him? He used to be a kid following me around. And now he's the president. So he's saying that the marbled rock roast, all the Gorons want to get stoned instead of work. That's the long and short of it. What's in here? Goron spice. Oh, we got arrows. Let's buy some arrows. Always want a clear stock of arrows. We use them so much. Like, we literally need to always upkeep them. Damn, Sapphire's 300. I think they sell for like 100 or so, so... 300 is, is not very good. I think it's funny that the economy has changed for the, uh... For the arrows and... And all that. Like, the fact that the gems sell for less... And they cost more just shows that, like, you know... The economy has gotten to them. And Yonobo, clearly, he, he seems pretty vicious, so I'm sure his economy isn't very, uh... Isn't very fair. <laughs> well, let's see what we can do. Get it together already. Yo, I've already used, like, a bunch of, uh... A bunch of, of these fans and minecarts. But, we're gonna use another one, because why not? Slap it on! Very cool. So, he went back to Yonoboko, so that's where we're headed. I think it's crazy that there's just blue Boko camps, just like, around here. Like, that's terrifying. That said, though, I could probably take on the blue ones at this point. Alrighty, so is he here? I certainly don't see him. Hmm. Here's the kids. I found them. Hey, it's you again. You're the one who knows Pernesidine Yodolo. Yeah, bro. I do know him. We used to be boys. We actually, like, traveled through time and, like, saved the world twice together. Like, it was a lot of fun. I don't like that lady. But it's the marble Rockos that's making everyone act funny. But as soon as he started wearing that mask, he got real neat. Oh, interesting. I didn't know about that. The mask made him easier to manipulate. I'll see what I can do. Maybe he'll get Yonobo back to himself. Yo, I got this. Yo, is that Zelda? Yo, we found her! We've been looking all over for you. You've just been here talking to Yonobo? Just giving him orders? Oh my god, that's so scary. At least she's out here, like, helping the world. You know, she's trying to do some good. Cut it out. We want you to take off that weird mask. Boys. Zelda's like, don't listen. Holy shit. That's crazy. Zelda mind controls Yonobo. That's so crazy. Princess Zelda's right. Marble... Rock roast is good. It makes everyone happy. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this. We have to fight Yonobo. Come on, you. Oh, my God. He's tough. Yo, Gorons have tough skin. Oh shit, oh shit! This isn't good. Of 
Come on. Do it. Do it. Oh, oh, I'm breaking it. I'm breaking it. It's almost saved. I could do this. One more. Well, that didn't work. Come on, buddy. Oh, fuck. Alright, he got me. Not letting this happen again. Can I flurry rush him? I want to try and flurry rush him. Can't wait to see someone recreate that meal. Oh, you mean the, uh, the, the, the rock roast? I'm sure it's already a thing. One more. I could do this. Yo! Flurry rush on Yonobo! Oh. Well. That works. You know, to smack him in the face. <laughs> Yonobo, are you okay? You have to snap out of it. You have to resist the mind control. You are a good person. You have to remember. Aw, look at them. Sergio Ofrock, I, I don't understand. His name is literally Ofuck. That's crazy. And there's Zelda. Yo, Yonobo doesn't remember what happened? Yo. She's about to bury us alive? I thought the whole thing was going to cave in. That was crazy. Is everyone alright? No one's injured? Yeah, we're good, man. What was that? Or who knows? The only way to break those red, red rocks is with my charge attack. I can't really see where I'm going when I charge. You know, I, I guess that's I guess that's making sense. <laughs> in the original game, he had uh, Daruk's protection, but in this game, he has like this fire attack that like. It's more in line with what a Goron should be able to do. Like, I feel like this makes a lot more sense. But it was kind of the same ability. You just used it, like, in more specific areas, because you had to shoot him out of a cannon. But now he's able to do it himself. I guess that's really cool character growth, you know? He was like, oh, this was helpful. But, uh, yeah, I think this is definitely way cooler. I think all the abilities are generally cooler. Like, Rivali's Gale, I most definitely miss, but Tulin's, like, little blast is... It's, like, it's still helpful. You know, it's, it's also more effective of, like, this game, because there's more ways to go up. So Rivali's Gale isn't important, but Tulin's blast pushes you forward, so it's more helpful. Uh, I like the, the Gerudo lightning strike a lot more. The spin attack felt overpowered, but the lightning strike, it feels more controlled. I'm glad that it's weaker. Because, like, the lightning strike that with the spin attack from uh, Urbosa's Fury, like, it was unbelievably powerful. It would one-shot, like, literally most enemies. And then, uh, even the boss fights were easier with it. What are the other ones? Sidon's is pretty, pretty flimsy in this one. I just like having Sidon around. Carts are sure useful. Um, that was fast. Yo, this guy just flies back. That's crazy. Alright, so where are we going? We have to go to Death Mountain now. Ooh, I do want to get that shrine right there. Because that's going to be a really good jumping point. Can I teleport with Yonobo? Or... Probably not, actually. The question is, do I just, like, beeline it? More amber. Yo, Yonobo. 
front and center. Where are you, buddy? There you are. I forget, he doesn't respond to whistles like he does in Breath of the Wild. Uh... Is this just rock roast? What am I supposed to do with this shit? Here, you, you guys want to eat? What the fuck? Are they scared of it? You know, Bo, chill. They're cool, they're cool. Oh, they really don't like this rock roast. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just got cleavered. That wasn't even close. <laughs> I was gonna try and perfect dodge it, but you know. That's kind of the that's kind of the risky run when you're doing the perfect dodges. So I didn't know that you could use the rock roast. I wonder what else it's used for. Goro. Yeah, Goro. Let's break that shit. Bro, you missed. By you, I mean me. I can do it. And by me, I mean you. What am I supposed to do with this? Should I fuse an item with it? Now I have a rock roast hammer. Yeah. All right, we got some hoblins. I, I wonder what's underneath here. Oh, fuck. I forgot, when you're in hot environments, bomb arrows, they just immediately explode in your face. I kind of wasn't thinking about that, but that is absolutely a thing. <laughs> the tastiest weapon yet. Oh my god, do you remember the Littlest Pet Shop commercials? And it was a little... Obviously, you know what the Littlest Pet Shop is, but you know, like, uh... The song, a little jingle that goes with it. It's like, the biggest, littlest pet shop yet. The littlest pet shop and you. I think about that, like, way too often. Like, that often shows up in my mind. Absolutely, fucking lootly Yeah, yeah. That was such a good commercial. That shit was fire. Will this break? Yeah, it will not break it. Nice. Come on, you. I think these Horoblins, the last time they were in Zelda was like in Twilight Princess. So it's cool, they added a, uh, the teeniest, tiniest little pets. Yes, they were dope. I only remember seeing that commercial all the time, watching like Zoe 101 and shit. More horns, more opals. Traveler spear. I mean, I guess. Here I go. What the fuck is down here? Oh, it's a bubble frog. Nice. Yeah, I can take a picture of this if I'm quick enough. Nope. Was not quick enough. Got a giant bright bloom seed. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. No, I did not press B. Actually, I probably did. Alright, focus. If I teleport to Goron City, will... 
Yonobo leave me or will he follow me? Because I did this once and I did this with, uh, with what's his name, Tulin. And I was like, yeah, this makes sense, but clearly it was not the move. Yonobo. Oh, he's here, he's here. He teleports with me. Alright, that's actually really good news. So now... I want to take this one. Because this will take me up the mountain. Or at least partially. That said, though, I will need some fans. Pose for the fans! Alright, I just hope Yonobo will follow me. I might be moving too fast for him. Oh, he's there. He's just really fucking slow. Was he confused? Is he lost? There we go. Nice. I'll let you go off, King. What is going on over here? I most definitely want to explore this. It's like a little cave. Oh, come on. We're almost there. Keep climbing. We're almost there. I will say the fans use a lot less energy when you're uh when you're using them on a minecart rather than using them in the air. Like in the air they go away so so fast. Death Mountain West site. The littlest pet shop and you. What's in here? Oh, it's a wheel. And a fan. Damn, they just got like a bunch of shit here. Nice. Wait, no, come back. So, bomb flowers can't break these? Only an oboe? Here I go. He goes, carts sure are useful. Yeah, is that all you know how to say? Yeah, my cart is long gone. I guess this one is here to show you that you can use the gliders on rails as well. Because they're kind of designed for rails, if you think about it. Where are we going? I have no idea if this is actually- Oh, fuck! We're flying! I didn't mean to fly. Yeah, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I should have expected it to start flying, but I, I, I sure didn't. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. I didn't really explore Death Mountain that much. I went straight to the temple, I think. I kind of want to go up there. Do you think I can climb the whole mountain? You know, both front and center. Here I go. It's just more rock roast. Ugh. Hit. 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 
So the rock roast, right? Like you just immediately become addicted to it as soon as you have it. Like that's pretty, that's pretty scary. Death Mountain West Tunnel. Fuck. I have no idea if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Let's try it. Nice. Nailed it. Just when I thought I was finally on the way to help this piddly highland. And the stinking track broke, and now I'm stuck here. None of the other workers even noticed. Great, just great. At this rate, I won't be able to buy more marble rack roast. Oh my god. What a nutcase. It's real simple. Just let me know when I can get the cart to send it flying. Yo, this is one of the Breath of the Wild ones. This is the one where you put the bomb back here. There you go, man. Try getting the cart. Sure thing, boss. <laughs> LOL. He's in it backwards. <laughs> All right, good luck. See you on the other side. Hey, he made it. Nice. All right, I'll be back for him. That was really funny. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. You might get stuck in a in a hole somewhere you will never get out of. <laughs> oh shit. This is a really good weapon. A cobble crusher? I mean, nine damage isn't that bad. Let's get rid of this travel spear. Yeah, it's kind of gruesome how, like, badly we beat these things. These bubble frogs really don't deserve anything that we do to them. I always hit up on D-pad to try and change my rune, even though it's L. So, can I ascend from here? It's for the greater good. I mean, it's for Kilton and his little brother, which is basically the greater good. Couple frog lives for one monster life to become a god. Yeah, and honestly, we need more gods. We don't need more, we don't need more frogs. So, I'm agreeing with you. Picking up what you're putting down. So I was thinking this while I was looking at the pit, right? Like, I can totally just fly across this, right? Like, it's not even a puzzle for me. It's just a puzzle for this guy. I can see the outside just a little further. Uh, He says, send me flying. This guy 
Double screws loose. What's that? It's the it's the surface. You've made it, buddy. The outside, I escaped, bro. You didn't do shit. <laughs> you didn't escape. <laughs> the fuck do you mean? This guy was just getting stoned. He was enjoying his little snack. And he was locked in a lava cave. And he was like, you know what? I'm just gonna die here. This is this is normal. <laughs> oh shit, he got a large Zonai charge. That's actually really, really good. Like that's very, very powerful. And the best thing that we can do when we have something like that is we can dupe it. So what those Zonai charges are really good at is that you can uh, you can auto fill your battery so you don't ever really need to upgrade your battery as long as you have some in my main profile i had like i don't know maybe like 20 of them naturally and then you know doing the the duplicating you can get literally infinite so that's always nice let's see if i can try making a flying machine This is a fan, right? I can use this fan. So, I guarantee you that this will not work. I'm calling it. Oh, a blue rupee. Alright. Let's try it. Well, that worked. Nice. Can I use this control stick? Can I just make a glider? Or will this one be mad at me if I try to remove it? Yo, I can! Let's go. Alright, this is what I was trying to make. There we go. This is literally all you need for the entire game. I can do it. Nice. So I could bother, you know, climbing all the way up here. I could. Or I can use some Zonai charges. You know, climbing up is definitely a hassle. Like, definitely a hassle. So I'd rather just not. And look at this. I can use these Zonai charges to help me up. And look at this, I can just go all the way up to Death Mountain. I'm pretty sure this is where I want to be. Goodbye. Alright, Goblin Glider was nice while it lasted. But that shit's gone. controlling device. Yo, I literally just used a controlling device. Yo, you can hold forward for it to go faster? That's news to me. Fuck.
Uh, did I just get run over by my own car? <laughs> did not expect that. There's always a new way to die. What I should do is I should take every single death that I have in my entire run, and I just cut it all together. Be like a thousand ways to die in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. This isn't Breath of the Wild. I am a fool. I am a fool! I'm gonna truck around here. So I think I have to go to the, to, to the left afterwards. Right now I have to find some type of orb or something. Unless I actually don't, I can just leave. What was that sound? Nice. I sure do, do love murdering people. And this is teaching me the exact same thing that I literally just did. Is that you can put things on other things from other things. That made sense in my head. Nice. I love this! I love flying! Woo! I wonder if there's a secret anywhere. Hells yeah. That was a weird little bit of lag right there. Nice and easy. I wonder what... Oh, that's number two? Okay. So if we get two more shrines... And then we beat the the first dungeon, which in this case is looking like it's going to be the Fire Temple. Then uh, we're going to be in good shape. We're going to have two stamina wheels. So where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go just a little bit further up. And we're almost there. Oh shit. Link, over there. Over where, buddy? Is that the summit of Death Mountain? What are we looking at, man? You gotta fill me in. I'm not from here. I'm not a Goron rock person. It was near here. That might be a racial slur. I saw her. The princess was standing right here. Goro? And then she gave me this fancy mask to wear around. After that, um... After that you started simping. Oh, jeez. It's no use. I can't remember anything that happened after that. That's because you were stoned, bro. <laughs> it's Zelda. Oh, fuck. What's going on? What just happened? Is that rock rose? It's not just rock roast. They're dragon heads coming out of them. Moragia, the volcano dragon. Yo, 
What a fucking cool opening boss. That thing broke out of the crater like it was nothing. Is that marbled rock? Is it alive? So, marbled rock roast, it's not rock. It's actually, like, skin of this monster that lives inside of the Death Mountain. How could something that large out appear out of nowhere? I've never seen anything like this on Death Mountain. We can't exactly charge at it from down here. Any ideas? Yo, we gotta fly, bro. Alright, none of my things are flammable. Oh, I'm flammable, fuck. Alright, well, climbing it is not the answer. Yo, these things are outfitted with batteries. We might be able to use these. No, didn't want to do that. Oh, fuck. Alright, you know, but we gotta get out of here. Come on, buddy. Before it's too late. Nice. Alright, so we only have two batteries. So once these run out, we're actually gonna be fucked. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Come on. Nice, we got it. Oh fuck! Yo, that actually knocked us off our course. That's crazy. This is actually tough. Controlling this is not easy. Oh no! Come on, you know, but we got this. Nice. All right, that's two. That's two. What do you think all of Hyrule is thinking, looking at this? Oh, fuck. Yo, that was a near miss. Ooh. All right, we got this. Nice. Let's go. We defeated Morgana. Yo, honestly, we're lucky we had Yonobo, because bomb arrows would not have cut that. <laughs> Damn. We did it. What was that thing, anyway? I thought Princess Zelda walked off somewhere around here. I don't know, man. That was crazy. I mean, she could have fallen the hole, but it didn't look like she was really scared. We have to go after her. Well, I'm glad he's braver than I am. Before I go down there, I don't really have food. Ah, fuck it. I'm sure we'll be fine. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna dive into Death Mountain. Ordinarily, this is supposed to be lava here, so this is gonna be interesting. Woo! Whoa. Holy shit. This place is crazy. This is what the depths is all about. This shit looks like the nether. Oh my god. This is so fucking cool. Let's see what's going on over here.
Damn, look at all these all these little blue dots over here. These are postals, and the postals are really, really helpful. Alright. Here we are in the under. So, postals, I don't know what they're used for. <laughs> in my file, I have never found the use for them. I think I found the statue I'm supposed to give them to in Lookout Landing, though. So, it's a good thing that I explored there a little bit more. Because now I know a little bit more about that area. Let's go ahead and light up this light route. Oh, man. I also don't know where Yonobo went. Like, I'm, I'm, I lost him. The kiss a mom light route. <laughs> Yo, you should kiss a mom. There we go. And now that we have this added to our map, we are going to be all set. Next episode, we are going to be taking on the Fire Temple. We're going to have to see exactly what's going on in this area underground. And we have to find Goron's uh, main homeland. Or the original homeland underground called Gorondia. I'm not exactly sure where we should be going, but uh, forward is always a great method. So we'll see you next time.